हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम इज अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम इज टू मिनिमाइज द टोटल ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट वाइल डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग ए प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम नंबर ऑफ सोर्सेज और ओरिजिन्स टू द नंबर ऑफ डेस्टिनेशन Suppose there are three factories F1, F2 and F3 which produces the same products having the capacity to supply S1, S2 and S3 number of units respectively. From these factories the products are to be transported to three destinations say W1, W2 and W3 having the demands D1, D2 and D3 units respectively. Each factory can transport to each destination. the cost of transportation may vary from different combinations the problem is to determine the number of units that is the quantity to be transported from each factory to each destination in order to minimize the total transportation cost so that the demand is fulfilled and the supply is utilized this is the transportation model drawn from the linear programming problem now there are o1 o2 up to om m number of sources that is the origin and d1 d2 up to dn that is n number of destinations and b1 b2 up to bn the n number of demands and a1 a2 up to am the m number of supply C11, C12 up to C1n, C21, C22, C2n. These are the cost per unit from the various origins to the various destinations. And X11, X12 up to X1n. These are the allocations whose value is the minimum of the demand and the supply. in transportation problem we have to determine the number of allocation that is the values of x11 x12 up to x1n up to xmn so that the total transportation cost is minimum now there are two types of transportation problem that is the balanced transportation problem and the unbalanced transportation problem now in this cell here summation ai is equal to summation bj that is if the total supply equal to the total demand then the problem is said to be balanced transportation problem so when the total supply equal to total demand then the problem is balanced transportation problem and when the total supply is not equal to the total demand then the problem is unbalanced transportation problem now there are two cases first case if total supply is greater than total demand then add a dummy column with the zero transportation cost second case if the total supply is less than total demand then add a dummy row with zero transportation cost consider this example in this transportation problem the total supply is 50 plus 50 plus 20 equal to 120 and the total demand is equal to 20 plus 40 plus 35 plus 15 equal to 110 that means the total supply is greater than the total demand by 10 units so to balance this problem we add a dummy column having the transportation cost zero and the demand 10 units 
so here we have added a dummy column having the transportation cost as 0 and the demand as 10 units now the total demand is 120 and the total supply is also 120 therefore the problem becomes balanced Consider this second example. In this transportation problem, the total supply is equal to 200 plus 100 equal to 300 and the total demand is equal to 75 plus 100 plus 100 plus 30 equal to 305. That is the total demand is greater than the total supply by 5 units so we add a dummy row having the transportation cost as 0 and the supply 5 units so here we added a dummy row having the transportation cost as 0 and the supply as 5 units and the problem becomes balance that means the total demand is equal to total supply equal to 305 so friends hope you understood the transportation problem and how to balance the unbalanced transportation problem in the next video we will learn the different methods to solve the transportation problem